August 2024 has been a very happening month for Wipro Hydraulics. We closed two acquisitions back to back. The first one with Maillot Industries, wherein we had a plant in Canada, a plant in Mexico, and then with Job, a plant in Wisconsin in the United States. Within a week's time, we also did one more acquisition, Columbus Hydraulics, that was based in Nebraska in, in the United States. And on August 22nd, we did a formal opening of our first plant in the north of India in Jaipur to cater to the growing demand in the Indian market. I want to welcome Charles Masikodi, who is the CEO of Mailart Industries. First of all, a warm welcome to you and the Mailart and Job employees of the Wipro family, and a warm welcome to you in India. Thank you very much, Staram. So Charles, could you give us some insights on how you see the coming together of Wipro Hydraulics and Mailart and Job driving growth for us? Over the years, we developed a lot of solid partnership with different customers, with large customers. And uh, over the years, they ask, they've been asking us to offer different product, and we're stuck with the, the product that we're producing. So with WePro, we'll be able to offer them every product, all the product that they require, meaning that we'll be in a position to offer them a kind of a one-stop shop for them. That is exciting, Charles, because if I think about it, right, so WePro is good in making the chrome-plated rods, you know, Millard does very well with the salt bad night running, and then you've got the CX1 technologies. So now you have a portfolio of technologies that can go to our customers that have the right technology for the right application. So to your point, we become a one-stop shop for meeting the, the application needs for our customers. So that should drive a lot more, what I would call as cross-selling and drive growth for our for the business. To be honest, honestly, we, we uh, will be in a position to offer them so much more, that there's so much in terms of product, in terms of the technologies in terms of coating. So I think that will be the only one that can offer as much in the American market. Exciting. Um, you know, Charles, you know, from Wipro perspective, we are looking at how do we grow the aftermarket and, you know, we've been, um, you know, successful in a certain, certain geographies. Um, Reman is new to us, right? And we have never looked at Reman being an additional capability that can help us grow the aftermarket. Do you want to talk to us about the job remanufacturing um, capabilities? Reman came from the customer demand. We were offering a new product and they were asking us if we could offer something else in between. So by adding or by having the Reman uh, facilities, we're in a position to uh, give, the, give the customer a kind of intermediate, intermediate uh, solution until the, uh, the, the cylinder will have to be uh, replaced. So, we're, we will be in the site in the total cycle of the of the product in order to um, extend the life of the, the product they, they buy and at the end we'll, uh, we'll be able to sell the new product. So this is going to be an additional capability that will get added to the overall portfolio and so that'll be exciting growth in the aftermarket. And a lot of our customers are driving ESG goals of you know sustainability and so Reman fits in very well in that. So no thanks really really. Um, exciting with that addition to the to the Wipro portfolio. You've been to India before with your family, right, with your wife, um, and many, many years ago. You're here this week and you've got the chance to visit our new facility in Jaipur, our oldest plant um, in Pinia and also Hindapur. Would love to hear from you, Charles, on, on your observations visiting these plants. You know, it's, uh, we were amazed about the, uh, the new facility that was just uh, launched uh, a few days ago, it's uh, the technology, the automation, uh, it's a state-of-the-art uh, facility. So it's something that we would like to replicate in, the, in America. And with regards to the other facilities, the way you, uh, you've been able to, to, uh, to, um, to produce in an efficient way uh, is amazing. Honestly, uh, I think that by being together, we'll learn a lot and we'll hopefully we'll be able to share some of the best practices that we develop over time in America as well. Thanks, Charles. I mean, I, I think the one in Jaipur has been, I think, a culmination of four decades of experience manufacturing cylinders. And so we really used all that knowledge to ensure our processes are well designed, are lean. You know, we have all the poker yoko done so we can have enhanced quality levels. Um, I think it's going to be a world's best manufacturing facility for hydraulic cylinders um, and really helping us to grow not only for today but also for the future for our customers. 
Sidaram, what was the strategy behind acquiring Columbus Hydraulics so soon after Mayat and Jart? Great, great question, Charles. Um, so let me let me step back and look at you know articulate. For us, you know, North America is you know the largest market for hydraulic cylinders in the world, um, and we were not a very significant player. So we were looking for growing organically and also through an M&A route. So initially, we looked at you know mail out industry is very very attractive. Um, you know, given the um, the capabilities and the technologies, and even the market penetration that mail out industries has got in the refuse market segment in the snow removal. Again, some market segments that Vipro does not participate in. We also looked at, when we looked at Columbus, we found it very interesting is Columbus plays, again, in market segments that are complementary to Vipro, but also complementary to mail out industries in Java. Um, so they are into turf maintenance, they are into marine, um, they also are into attachments uh, for the agricultural and the construction industries. Um, and most of the products are in the less than two inch bore size of cylinders. So now, when I, if, I, if I have to step back and look at the portfolio now, after the acquisitions too, you know, we have, we have the capability to make the small cylinders, the medium cylinders, and the very large cylinders. We have a diversified market segments. Vipro initially was only in the construction and the material handling part of the segments um, in, the, in the United States. But now we are in the refuse, in the snow removal, we are in the construction uh, tipper markets, we are into the, uh, you know, turf maintenance, marine, the attachment part of the business. Now we have a diversified market portfolio, a diversified product portfolio. I think it's going to be an exciting time for salespeople to go and do more cross-selling with our customers. I totally agree with you. You know, our sales team is so excited because we'll be able to offer every, almost everything in terms of hydraulic cylinders to our customer. It's going to be a big plus. And as we mentioned, we'll be able to offer the one-stop shop that the market is requiring. In addition, you know, uh, Charles, with with Columbus and Maillard and Job, I think we have now a lot more, you know, more talent into the organization. I've been pretty, pretty impressed meeting, you know, your leadership team, meeting the leadership team in Columbus Hydraulics. Um, I'm really excited. So talent, broad portfolio, a diversified market segmentation. I'm convinced, right? We're gonna grow and grow further in North America. We're both convinced, of course. Thank you. All right, All right. thank you, thank you.